It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Flying Dog Brewery and it's a can of their Numero Uno Agave Cerveza. Uh, it's coming in at 4.9% ABV and it's been brewed, uh, it's a lager brewed with agave nectar and with lime zest added. So a kind of a agave lime lager. Uh, it's in a 330 or maybe 350 American sized can. Let's get the can out into a glass, see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors beersofeurope.co.uk uh, check the link in the description box for a look at their website look at that so a filtered beer then absolutely crystal clear looking beer nice levels of carbonation one to two finger white head it's a straw coloured lager. Beautiful carbonation though, beautiful to look at. Let's get the aroma. You can't escape lime, can you? I found lime in beer, actually lime added to beer, to be one of the most prominent flavours that you can add to a beer. That, that It just kind of flies in your face, it really is prominent. It's massive there in the aroma. Should we dive in? Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, lots of lime. And yes, that. It's very limey. I'm, I'm only going to mention lime once and that's it. It's it's incredibly, incredibly limey. The, I gave, the, the nectar, I gave nectar. This one's new to me, so you'll have to bear with me. It's kind of slightly plummy and fruity and, and, and lots of vitamin C. Now, I am all for the consumer. First and foremost, reason why I started this blog is one, I love beer, and two, I want to give my honest opinion to beer lovers out there so they watch my channel and they can trust my reviews. Um, I think they've been very clever flying dog with this beer I think this is a a, a contract brewed because I work in the industry now and I know how things work um, I think this is a contracted lager that has been tanked over to flying dog brewery and they've added lime and the agave cerveza to add lots of flavor and what happens is then that it you can produce the beer so much cheaper if you get a if you get a base lager in a cheap lager and to be honest even though there's lots of lime and lots of this agave nectar in there you can escape the cheap tasting lager that lies underneath it's just and it's an undercurrent of cheap lager um i like flying dog I love their beer, I think some, they, they produce some fantastic beer, but I think, well, as I mentioned, I, I think the consumer should know, uh, the buying public should know um, what they could well have done here. I can't prove it. Um, I live in the UK, they, they brew in America. But I can, after trying so many cheap lagers in my time, and now knowing how the industry works, um, I know that, that um, it's not gonna fly with me. And it's my job and it's my duty to tell you guys um, what I think this is. So this is a cheap base lager, cheap as you like lager, with lime and agave cerveza in to try and mask the cheapness of the lager. Shame really because Flying Dog are a craft brewery and um, <laughs> why? 
that's the answer, that's the question. You go into a, to, to craft brewing as passionate people to knock down the likes of Budweiser and Heineken and, and, and the rest of the big guys who, who strangle the market. You try and kind of get in a little bit and, and, and sell lots of really good beer and then you do something like this when you become, they're a fairly big brewery now, Flying Dog. Um, I don't agree with it. I'm going to rate it. And for me, yeah, it's bloody poor. It's really, really poor. Um, two out of ten. It's a two out of ten from me, Little Craft Beer. Uh, Flying Dog, numero uno. I gave Cerveza 4.9% ABV. Go and try it if you want to. Please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.